ten times Hinata proved she loved Naruto. Hinata was deeply inspired by Naruto's good qualities. She saw his value when no one else did and constantly tried to earn his attention and approval. When a bunch of bullies descended on a young Hinata Hyuga, it was Naruto that came to her rescue. She instantly fell in love with him. Despite a warning to stay away from him. She found that her love was unbreakable. He had a terrible reputation, but she still continued to love him. Naruto, on the other hand, was completely uninterested in the Hyuga heiress. It was their classmate, Sakura, that had caught Naruto's attention. Hinata was deeply inspired by Naruto's good qualities. She saw his value when no one else did. She constantly tried to earn his attention and approval. 10. She wanted to be on his team. Naruto had originally failed the graduation exam, but Hinata was overjoyed to find out that he had finally succeeded in becoming a ninja. She hoped to be placed on the same team as him. Unfortunately, she wouldn't get to be on a team with Naruto. Instead, Naruto was placed on a team with his own crush. Hinata would no longer get to see her beloved Naruto every day. She would have to settle for the occasional mission where they could work together. 9. She offered to let him cheat off her. Early on in the Chunin exams, the two are seated side by side. They have to pass a written test in order to advance to the next round. While the students are under strict orders not to cheat, the goal of the test is to cheat without getting caught. Noticing how much Naruto was struggling, Hinata offered to let him look at her paper. Naruto refused because he wanted to succeed or fail by his own strength. Naruto probably made the right decision, cheating in such a mundane way might have gotten them both a failing score. 8. She gave him medicine. During the Chunin exams, Naruto would end up fighting his former classmate, Kiba. Before the battle could take place, Hinata would give Naruto a heartfelt gift. The gift was practical, something that could heal him from any wound Kiba inflicted during their fight. The medicine she gave Naruto was something she had made herself. It's believed the ointment was a secret Hyuga recipe. The ointment was meant to be a gift of affection. While Hinata's sensei understood the importance of the gift, a clueless Naruto didn't understand why she was giving him medicine. 7. She fights Niji. Hinata is chosen to fight against her brilliant cousin, Niji. She knows that she is no match for the boy, but she fights him anyway. One thing she learned from judging Naruto is to never back down. Hinata found herself inspired by Naruto's determination. She carried that determination with her in life. It was something that came in handy during her fight with Niji. She refused to give up. No matter what. Her willingness to never back down was what initially caught Naruto's attention. 6. She cooked for him. Hinata, Kiba, and Naruto were assigned on a mission together. They were sent to track down a dangerous killer, though they were told he was a simple thief. At the start of the mission, Hinata made Naruto a special meal. Hinata made him on a gyrai in the shape of his own head. Naruto was shocked at how tasty the meal was. He was so impressed by Hinata's cooking skills. Yet Hinata looked embarrassed but happy. 5. She overreacts upon their reunion. There was something about Naruto's presence that always made Hinata act a little off. Her feelings for him seemed to overshadow her reason. Everyone but Naruto seemed to realize her feelings for him. When Naruto left the village, Hinata had to go two long years without seeing him. Her feelings for him could have waned in that time. She basically passed out upon her reunion with Naruto. This simple reaction proved that even after their years apart, Hinata still loved him. 
before, she tried to save his life. When pain attacked Kanoha, he began searching for Naruto. Naruto returned to the village in the nick of time. Pain and Naruto began to fight for the fate of the village. But Naruto found himself pinned to the ground. Hinata was the only person to rush to his aid. She once again showed fearless determination as she tried to help Naruto get free. She was willing to place her life on the line to prevent any harm from befalling Naruto. 3. She tried to shield him. The allied shinobi forces worked together against the threat caused by the Tentails. Naruto was being exclusively protected by three members of the Hyuga clan. Niji and Hayashi became concerned with their other allies and Hinata was forced to protect Naruto by herself. When an attack was headed directly towards Naruto, Hinata plunged in front of him. She was willing to use herself to shield the man she loved. Once again, she showed she valued his life more than her own. 2. She knitted him a scarf. Hinata and Naruto remained friends into adulthood. By that point, he had become a well-known shinobi and a heroic presence in the village. She continued to love him in secret and began knitting him a scarf as a gift. The red scarf was meant to be a reference to their first meeting. The first time they met, Naruto gave her the red scarf he had been wearing. The scarf had clearly meant a lot to Hinata as she never forgot the first thing Naruto gave her. 1. She married him. Naruto comes to see Hinata's true feelings for him, he realizes that he returns her feelings. The journey to win Naruto's heart had been a long one for Hinata. She never gave up on him, but she eventually got to see her feelings returned. The two would go on to marry and have two children together. Hinata got to spend a life with the man she truly loved and got to marry the guy she'd loved since she was a small child.